You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 6. Uh, we're coming from eastern Tennessee, uh, right down on the Cumberland Plateau. People across the country are taking to the roads for the holiday weekend, including in central Illinois. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. Jennifer is off tonight. You may not have noticed much traffic last year, but this holiday season, officials are warning those roads could get crowded over the next week. WCI3's Bradley Swank is with us now. So Bradley, what did you see while you were out there today? Whether you were leaving the state or coming to visit, it's safe to say you'll hit some kind of traffic. At least that's what I saw while I was out there today. Some travelers tell me for them, traffic wasn't all too bad compared to years past. Going through uh, Nashville was smooth as silk. Uh, traffic was very light, connected with uh, 24 onto uh, 57. And so far, everything's been going smooth. This wasn't always the case for Patrick Lineski. He and his wife make the trip to Chicago from West Tennessee every year. Usually take 65 up. And uh, we've been having a lot of trouble with 65 with the detours and that going through Indianapolis. After years of making the same trip, they feel like they finally found the quickest route. He's not the only one who is headed to Chicago for the holiday. Coming from Arlington, Texas, I just moved there from Los Angeles, and we're going to Chicago, Illinois to visit my cousin. For people who may not have hit the road yet or are taking a break on the way to their final destination, I talked with IDOT spokesperson Maria Castaneda to get some holiday travel tips. Here's the biggest takeaway. Just to give themselves extra time, you know, pretty much to expect the unexpected. She says to pay extra attention, attention around construction zones because workers may be around even if they're out of sight initially. All right, Bradley, thank you so much. Tra